You're the one who'll be paying your great big slimy so-and-so, gal! <laughs> me on! I just blasted you with pearly gates and you barely even flinched! <laughs> the orb with which my lord and master entrusted me renders all your petty human enchantments null and void. And what, might I ask, are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? <laughs> no, still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed... <laughs> Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. In your world, I am known as the Seer. I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? No, I didn't think so. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. You know, I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric? Was it? Well, no matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can sit.
take a seat. Make yourself at home. Now, the fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. So that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. But power cannot be taken, no more than it can be touched or tasted. Especially not the power of the luminary. Still no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? That won't do at all. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have... Go. Save the world. Darling, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness! <sighs> when you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. But then... It was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're kidding. You were fishing, and you met a person called the Seer, and they turned into a dog? Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. Come. Mm-hmm. Whoop! <laughs> in your heart and lightning in your hand. There'll be time enough for staring out to sea tomorrow, laddie. Come on, let's get you to bed.
despair. I am helpless, powerless, bound by the chains of regret. If only I could go back. I would gladly accept eternal damnation just to go back to that day. Please, hear my plea. You must free this restless knight from his prison of despair. So we all had the same dream, eh? Just like people have been saying. The poor knight bemoaning his fate, asking to go back. Oh, it was tragic. He looked so desperate. I wish there was something we could do to help, but we don't know who he is, or even where he is. Uh, maybe not. But that was Dracilian armor he was wearing. There's no doubt about that. What do you say, laddie? Shall we go and see what's become of Dundrasil now that this blasted darkness has engulfed the world?
This place was in ruins the last time we came. But this... This is something else. Ah... Where was I? Ah, yes. It should be around here some. Would you boys do me a favour and shift this little lot? Well? Don't just stand there, darling. If I'm getting my hands dirty, you are too. Where does this stairway lead, Lord Robert? To an underground passage that runs beneath the castle. It was meant to allow the royal family to flee should Dundrasil ever come under attack. Right. Let's get in there and see if we can find some clues to the identity of our restless knight, shall we? chat with our friend here, but something tells me he's got other things in mind. Such despair. Stay focused.
punished. I am done. Eleanor, you took my boy. I will never forgive you! Eleanor? But that's the old queen's name, which would make you... Erwin, last king of Dundrasil. Just as I thought. A great man, and a fine warrior too, as you've just witnessed. And, most importantly of all, your father. I'm sorry the two of you had to meet like this. What happened to you, Erwin? Come on, laddie. Look at me. What in the... At last you have come. Long have I waited for a kindly soul to free my restless knight from his misery. Hmm. The voice from the dream. You are correct, of course. Before you, Niels Erwin, King of Dundrasil. All those long years ago, on that darkest of days, he fought to the last. The light of justice sustained him, and he refused to yield to the darkness. But with time, that light has waned, and all that remains is the tortured soul you see before you. Lost between light and dark, life and death. I beg of you, Help him, free him from his nightmare. Shine the light of hope into the darkness of his despair. The voice, it's gone again. Who is she? That'll have to wait. Erwin here needs our help. But what are we supposed to do to help him?
King Erwin, it is a great honour to be invited to celebrate this most special of days with you. The birth of your son and heir is a source of great joy and happiness to us all. Congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, this is a momentous day for Dundrasil. I am truly humbled to be lucky enough to celebrate it with you all. My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dundrasil. You honor us with your presence. The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's Colloquy of Kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. You will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards, I don't suppose any of you have seen King Carnelian? Yes, sire. King Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. King Carnelian, Lord Robert, I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark, that he is the luminary reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represent. Save it for the meeting, Owen. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not every. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers? you, Jade. He wants to play. <laughs> he 
He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father, that he can help people to overcome their problems, just as Erwin does. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> 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 the colloquy is about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one? All right, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. <sighs> Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day too. It's making me feel uneasy. Come on now, Eleanor. There's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? Hmm? Hey, you don't need me to protect you, Jade. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. <laughs> right, we better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Eleanor. Good luck, both of you. This child, he is the one? He bears the mark. There's no mistaking it. Dark one riseth, tree descendeth, luminary, man defendeth. Light's mark shineth, hand extendeth, with his coming, Black night endeth. The final poem in the Book of Erdwin. The legends tell us that the Dark One was defeated by the Luminary in the Age of Heroes, bringing eternal peace to the world. But, as I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, monsters walk the land once more. 
The peace of Erdria is under threat. The kingdom of Svardzrost has already fallen at the wicked creature's hands, and King Arnut with it. You will be sorely missed. And now a child has been born who bears the mark. Which brings us to a reason for gathering here today. What does all this mean for Erdria? You speak of the Dark One, of monsters running wild, of the peace of centuries crumbling. But surely, the birth of the child signals an end to our woes. Now that the Luminary is among us, the balance can be restored, the peace can be maintained. Oli? <laughs> you believe that the presence of the Luminary will ensure that peace prevails? Can you be... Forgive me, Lord Robert, but the Book of Erdwin contains another poem concerning this matter, does it not? It does. The very first poem. The prophecy. World tree's gift, first of many. Bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the Dark One, bleak, black. What are the two of you implying? That the Luminary causes the appearance of the Dark One? Without light, there cannot be shadow. Without darkness, the stars cannot shine. This has always been the way of the world. Darkness and light must coexist. So, indeed, the birth of the Luminary may well be what causes the Dark One to awaken. You dare to imply that my son is somehow the source of our troubles? That the Luminary isn't a force for good? Can we be certain that he is? Evil does not always take a monstrous form, after all. You must have noticed the sinister glow emitted by Erdwin's lantern of late. Ever since your child was born, in fact. What are you trying to... The star sings at night, you know. I, I have heard it. It sings of Erdria's destruction. King Gustav is right. Ah, oh, don't you start. Ominous footsteps approach. We all hear them. As the leaders of this world, we owe it to our people to root out even the slightest hint of evil at its source. Even when that source is painfully close to home. Why don't you just come out and say it? You're asking me to kill my own son! My own flesh and blood! Something happened, not long before the child was born. I'm sure some of you saw it. A great, blinding light shot up from Yggdrasil and set the sky aglow. For a moment, it seemed that night had become day. We saw that same light on the evening he was born. It was shining from the mark on his hand. The child is a force for good. I have never been more certain of anything. He did not give rise to the darkness. He was sent to drive it out. Light 
and dark are not two sides of the same coin. The light of the luminary is a gift. A gift that will cleanse the world of evil. A rousing performance indeed. <laughs> of course, if you had shown even a witless conviction, we would have had no choice but to remove the child from your care. The Luminary is the child of Yggdrasil. He alone can bring light to the world. He must be protected at all costs. I hope you will forgive us our little test, but we had to be sure how strongly you believed. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I am satisfied. Send him to Heliodor when he comes of age. He will be trained in all that he will need to fulfill his destiny. We must confer upon the Luminary the power to lead us all. King Carnelian, everyone, I... I don't know what to say. Ah, uh, 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 very good. The most pressing item on our agenda is dealt with, and it ended just as I knew it would. <laughs> now the matter is settled. Our kingdoms are united in their purpose. Let all be as Yggdrasil wills it. That concludes the colloquy. Now, all that remains is to introduce the Luminary to his adoring public. Hmm. Thank you, King Carnelian. My friends, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Now, dear... Uh, your Majesty! Uh, 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 what is it? You, you must flee the palace immediately. Monsters! Hundreds! Hundreds of monsters! We're under attack. Everyone, we have to get out of here now. Come in force, but they shall not have the child. Lord Robert and I will keep them at bay. Take Eleanor and the child and flee the castle. Now! But King Carnelian, this is suicide! Yes. You need not fret on my behalf. I am not in my dotage just yet. Now go! Thank you. Both of you.
you're alive. Oh, thank the heavens. When we saw the monsters coming, we feared the worst for you both. Never mind that now. We need to get out of here, all of us. Come on. No matter what happens, I will get you out of here. I promise. Let's go. Hmm. should be able to get out through here. made it this far around the castle. They must have the place surrounded. We'll have to use the tunnels. This way. <laughs> <laughs> 